everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before in case this is your first time watching hi i'm leslie i'm so glad to have you here on my channel i talk about all things luxury i do have a soft spot for handbags but i also talk about jewelry some high street fashion content sprinkled throughout i film unboxing videos hauls reviews shopping vlogs and everything in between so if that sounds like your thing i would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel Talking about shopping vlogs, today is going to be part two of my luxury outlet shopping vlog from the Mall Firenze. I already uploaded part one, which featured Celine, Ferragamo, Saint Laurent and a bit of Givenchy. And today's video is going to be part two. I just had to break it up into two parts because I just got so much footage. Plus, I did my best to also include the before and after price tags, basically. So yeah, before I ramble on any further, this is going to be part two featuring Balenciaga, Burberry, Gucci, Prada and Valentino and I guess let's go. All right, let's start with Valentino, shall we? They had a lot of bags and shoes from the Spring Summer 2021 collection, um, the one with the rose petals. I think the exact name was Atelier 03 Rose, something like that. Anyway, not a fan of the 3D rose design and judging from how much of the collection was in the outlet, chances are I'm not alone on this. But anyway, they also had a lot of current or like more classic designs, I guess, both in terms of shoes, but also when it comes to handbags, so of course. A lot of rockstar designs, but also shoes and bags with the new-ish, uh, like big V logo. So from the V Sling line, for example, the selection was really good. Also very classic and standard colors. So a lot of black, a lot of neutrals, which when you compare it to other brands that were also featured in the Mall Firenze, that wasn't always the case. Next off, Burberry. They had an amazing bag selection, also when it comes to shoes and ready to wear, of course. For instance, and this is one I was really tempted by, they had the banner tote, which I'm pretty sure has been discontinued for quite a while now. There was a mini one in this like beautiful blush pink color, and then the regular or like the larger size and basically every color you could think of. There was a red, there was a pink, black, navy blue, I think also a beige. I didn't even film every single one of them. Yeah, really tempted. My only complaint though is that for a discontinued bag, I feel like the outlet price should have been a lot lower. And mind you, some other Burberry bags that were in the outlet at that day were marked down by like 40% and the Benetton, I believe, was only like... 26% off, which I mean, that's better than nothing. But if you've watched part one of my outlet vlog, you'll be familiar with this kind of logic of mine. I hope I'm making sense anyway. So yeah, 26% off wasn't enough for me. So I decided to not go with the banner toad. The scarf and shoe collection was great too. And again, as I already mentioned in part one, between handbags and shoes, the latter was definitely the category that you were able to get the best deals on. That goes for Burberry just as well as it goes for most of the other brands that were featured in the outlet. So I highly recommend the Mall Fidenzi for shoe lovers in particular, but of course there were some amazing deals on bags as well. By the way, make sure to check out part one of my outlet vlogs. You don't want to miss the Ferragamo and Saint Laurent goodies in particular. Beautiful selection and I did come home with um, something. I'm going to film a separate haul and reveal video, but if you want to catch a glimpse of what I purchased and also yeah, 
take a look at all the amazing bags, uh, definitely check out part one. Next off, Gucci. Apparently the Gucci outlet at the Malfi Dance is the largest Gucci outlet in Europe, so of course we had to go inside. We didn't have to wait in line or anything. That may, however, be different if you're going on a weekend, for example. We went on a Tuesday and I feel like Gucci definitely is the anchor tenant of the outlet and attracts a lot of traffic. For example, when we arrived with the bus earlier that day, like 99% of the people we arrived with headed straight to Gucci and formed a line. We decided not to and just return later throughout the day and unless Gucci is the only reason you're going to the outlet, I recommend going the same path. So just checking out other boutiques first thing in the morning and then returning to Gucci later in the day because yeah. And to be really honest, the Gucci outlet was kind of underwhelming to be honest. I mean, not in terms of size, the outlet store itself was massive and the selection was I guess the selection was good, but in terms of the items themselves and the discounts, I wasn't that impressed. Common theme though, discount on shoes and ready to wear were overall higher than on handbags. Weirdly, they also had a good amount of full price bags, for instance, the Soho Disco, which I don't know, kind of defeats the purpose of going to an outlet when they offer a good amount of full price items. Maybe it's useful for international shoppers because shopping with tax bag alone kind of already makes it an outlet price, but who knows, I was really confused with that. They also had a bunch of items from the Disney collection, as well as some ready to wear from the Doraemon collab, which makes me wonder if in a year or two, they might get the Gucci X Adidas collab into the outlet. That would be so cool because I'm secretly still kind of lusting after that one blazer jacket I tried on in my Gucci Adidas pop-up store vlog. I'm gonna link to that in the description below. But anyway, it was interesting to see, but overall not impressed with Gucci. That may also be partly because I'm just not a Gucci girl overall. But if you're at the Morphe Lancey, check out the Gucci outlet, but don't expect much, I guess. So next off Prada and yes, that black shopping bag on my shoulder means that I didn't leave the outlet empty handed as I mentioned. Anyway, back to Prada. The one thing that kind of irritated me about Prada is that they only displayed the outlet price on the price tags, not the full original retail price, which made it a little hard to gauge whether something's a good deal or not. I really appreciated that most of the other brands in the outlet not only gave you both prices, but also already calculated the percentage of your savings. But yeah, just a little side note rant. Oh, and they also had Miu Miu at the Prada location. By the way, technically speaking, Prada isn't a part of the Morphe Renzi, so they are not featured on their website, for example, and the store directory. But Prada, as well as Montclair and some other brands, I think also Montblanc, 
are located right next to the stores that are part of the Mall Firenze. You can't even tell that they're separate. The only thing though is, for example, I purchased something at Saint Laurent, as I mentioned, and I didn't get a Saint Laurent shopping bag, but a like, yeah, branded the Mall Firenze bag. If I was to purchase something at Prada, I would have gotten a Prada shopping bag with Prada written on it, not the Mall Firenze. So that's kind of a way to tell. But other than that, the Prada outlet is yeah right next to other stores that are part of the Mall Firenze. And lastly, Balenciaga. Talk about an edgy city bag, right? This was so cool, but I think I would have been in trouble with trying to get this one through yeah, the security check at the airport because every like luxury item I purchased definitely traveled with me in my carry-on luggage. But anyway, the selection at Balenciaga wasn't like super big, but they had some interesting pieces. And there you have it, part two of my luxury shopping vlog. If you haven't already, make sure to check out part one. And by the way, I also went to the Gucci garden exhibition in Florence, which was super interesting. I did get a fair bit of footage, so I don't know, would you be interested in a short vlog? I can definitely put something together. Just let me know. Here's a little sneak peek, I guess. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful to give you an idea of what to expect at the Mall Firenze. I will include a full list of all brands that were part of the Mall Firenze in the description box below. There are a lot more than the ones I featured in my two vlogs. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and I guess I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.